Man, oh man, this sure beats tubing down the river. I don't even have to pull an extra tube to float to Kula. She beats that party foul that always happens. We won the lottery, so you know what that means. We're rich! Man, this thing holds 11 people? I remember the day when I tried to put 11 people on a tube. Yep, yep, yep. That's where I got a black eye from Betsy. We won the lottery, and uh, it's been a while since we had money to spend one on whatever we want. We've been living paycheck to paycheck. Had a good life, can't say I didn't, but now I get to spend my money on whatever I want. And let me tell you, of course, I went and splurged. The Redneck's dream is to have the camping set up. So of course, I bought the ultimate camper. American flag, a tiffin. This thing is patriotic. And... I had to get a Rubicon because why not? When you have money to blow, you can buy whatever you want. Of course I have a Rubicon. I don't know. To me, I don't think you have to be rich to make life great. I remember back as a kid, I grew up poor. I had a blast most of the time and we really never had any money. But let me tell you, you could buy a boat when you're rich. So today, we got a finish building our house at least I hope we can finish building our house I'm gonna unhitch this trailer here take the old Jeep back to our house I do have to say uh, our old place uh, it, it needed some improvements a lot of improvements we kind of lived right by a major uh, track and it wasn't always the easiest to get to uh, we had to uh, sneak in from their track insurance right here into oh yeah there's my uncle he's hanging out don't worry I'm gonna buy him a nice trailer so my wife right away thought you know we need to buy a new house so she bought this trailer I'm like you gotta think bigger we ain't just gonna live in a trailer. Yes, we could uh, park this. Maybe I can give this to my uncle. I don't know, maybe that's what she was thinking. But we got this old place here. This is where I grew up. I had a blast playing with in this place as a kid. I mean, just look how fun. As a kid, you don't really know you're poor until you start hanging out with friends at least. But, uh, yeah, we lived in a junkyard. We had the murder truck, as I like to call it, the Kenworth. And we had Dad's old 79 K30 here. When you don't have a lot of money, you become a great mechanic. At least in my fear you do. Because you know how to part out a junkyard. That's for sure. You gotta penny pinch every little dime you have so this is our old house we uh let's say some would say this is a beautiful place but uh we're in the middle of a racetrack and let me tell you car it's kind of nice but uh them cars can get pretty loud especially when you're trying to sleep off uh something you did last night that was a mistake Oh man, I left my britches out again. Shoot. Alright, so we're going to try finishing our house up. We almost have to mill all the wood ourselves. Look, the economy nowadays, you know, just trying to get anything, really. There's always seems like there's something holding you up or, you know, back ordered anymore. Nowadays, it's just so common. It's painful. It's painful. You never know what's going to hold you up. We did have this contracted out, but the contractors ended up uh, uh, having to delay their build because of getting sick, so this house is just slowly, very, ever so slowly, 
getting built. Uh, it's taking a long while. Why do we have a big pile of gravel right in the middle of our road? Well, that's why you buy a Rubicon, just in case that happens. See, you can just drive right over that. Or maybe that is to prevent uh, thefts coming in here and trying to steal power tools. It's always a problem on a construction site. But this is our house we're building here. Yep. Yep. Right now, we're still putting up some of the rafters. This is going to be a step above our, our old trailer we lived in. And I mean, look at this. This, this is some coordination. When you can, uh, you know, you dump all your trash out by a wheelbarrow on a walking the plank. Yeah. Yep, I had to do this duties from time to time at the construction site. It always happens. But we we need a load of wood to come in. We've been trying to ask. And two, I kind of got new plans to uh, put up something a little bit different. What the heck? What the heck is this about? Somebody put this as a prank? That's odd. So we definitely need a load of wood, supplies, nails, anything. We got all the tools here. We got everything ready to build. The only problem is, is we don't have supplies. And they're slow getting the supplies nowadays. I think I see the truck coming, finally, coming down the road. So uh, once this truck gets here... Hopefully we can unload it. We could start building. We could start building. So I have plans. I have a little bit odd plans here. I know I'm going to start scrapping the house build. The supplies for the truck isn't going towards the house. One of the most enjoyable things in my childhood was uh, my brother built a tree house. Uh, I always have fond memories of that. I want this to be the same. I know, you know, it might rain, it might snow, it might do a lot of things, and our house, it's hard drying out that wood. But I just really want to... Okay! Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess we need to move that big pile of uh, rock there so the truck can get in here and unload. Oh, oops. Well, enough with that. Anyways, we're gonna build a tree house. That's the goal. Let's see, we're gonna move our uh, dump truck over here. Fill it up with rock here quickly. There we go. That looks like it's close enough. Get into our skid steer. Lower the boom. There we go. This thing is amazing. Yeah, there we go. Get a bucket here. There we go. Start moving this giant pile of rocks. I don't know why it's built right here for burglars or stupidity. One of the two. Start moving this. Dumping it into the truck. Oh man. Does this reach high enough? Oh, does it? Uh, oh, oh, wow. That was close. Alright. It just barely gets high enough lift over that big old truck. This is going to be a while. Run final scrape. Push this over to the side here. Alright, truck, you can finally get in here. And I need to go find the forks wherever they are around here. We can start unloading this thing. Get these forks on here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. 
grab something with these things. Okay. Ooh. That is definitely not going to be an easy place to get off one of these pallets. That's for sure. Got a lot of junk around here. Oh man, this is not going to be easy. Oh, squeeze this in. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Undo the strap. Oops. There we go. There. Got that load of concrete off, finally. Alright, move this over here. Gonna need this for the footing. So, the best, the most important thing when you're building a treehouse, you got to pick the right location. And the right location when it comes to a treehouse isn't really the land, it's more the trees. Let's see, yeah. Stretch across about here. We're going to definitely need some big wood planks to get this done. All right, we got this transformer this is the last thing we need to put on to this giant tree house we had to get a crane oh where did that crane oh oh oops pretty sure i bumped it trying to get it right over here oh there we go there we go you gotta lift the stuff up like that pallet up there very slowly sorry we got got something up there burning so this pulley system doesn't exactly work this is a ladder is a doozy watch out for that because that's the poo the poo leakage there actually it's the shower leakage you don't want to get under that especially if somebody's taking a uh, dirty shower if you know what I mean this is a little hangout area over here to the side we got a nice little break area excuse the bottles uh, we do have some late nights here where we like to uh, drink some moonshine under the moon but we got up all the way up here yeah it's kind of loud up here got the nice little uh, drinking fountain here where we can uh, th we call this the kitchen we got the stove here we got the dinner area yep this is the way I like to live and then we got to go over here. We got a little bar here. Got some more moonshine bottles. I know. I know. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I forgot to show you the outhouse. The outhouse has a tree growing into it. We're going to have to shave that down. Yeah. You uh, just drop your load right down in there. And uh, you definitely don't want to be under this while somebody's using the bathroom. Let me tell you what. And this is our living quarters. Yep. You know, we got some crowns. This is, I think the kids will like playing here or like sleeping at night. I never had a tree house this nice. I mean, usually we had to get uh, whatever spare wood we had and use that as our uh, tree house. Look at how far down we are. Yes, 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 we we had we had no more we got no further on our house. And for whatever reason, there seems to be a cement mixer right down the center of our house. Yeah, looks like we were uh, drinking a little bit of the moonshine when we're unloading the truck. Note to self, don't do that again. Hopefully you all enjoy this type of videos. If you like these type of videos, leave them down in the comments. I've been thinking about doing a little homeowners, uh, homeowners series and just break up the farming series. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not get, getting rid of the farming series. I'll always be a farmer on Farming Simulator. But, you know, sometimes just to make the content a little bit interesting, you know, just to change the pace a little bit, like doing little uh, homeowners, maybe a little bit of mining, maybe a little bit of lawn care, maybe a little bit of repairmen, anything. If you'd like to see that type of stuff, leave it down in the comments. I would like to hear about it because I do these videos for you. 
See you next time, y'all. Later. If you want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Gaming PCs. They make a PC perfectly made for Farming Simulator. Check out the specially made PCs made by Grant himself. Just use the code SQUAD. Save a ton. Alright, later y'all.